and charged with first-degree manslaughter and second-degree murder in the death of three-year-old Kamir Marshall in 2020 is sentenced today to the maximum 25 years in prison. Christian Garzon has been there. He was there for the sentencing. He joins us now live with the very latest on this. Christian, we're told the judge tore into love this afternoon. What did the judge have to say to him? Yeah. She did rip uh, Anthony Love apart, and I'll get to what she said in just a second here. The courtroom did erupt in applause when the sentencing was announced. Now, if you remember back in January, the jury returned a charge of not guilty on the main murder charge in this, hence the second-degree murder and first-degree manslaughter charge in this case. Just for some backstory, police went to a home in July of 2020 where they found three year old Marshall unresponsive. The child was put on life support but never regained consciousness, passing away. Police say Marshall actually had multiple injuries on his body. Anthony Love was an acting caregiver for Marshall at that time. Investigators say Love physically abused Marshall, rupturing the boy's spleen and leaving him with pelvic fractures, all of that contributing to his death. Now, the judge said to Love in the courtroom roughly, quote, I will never forget this beautiful little boy and carry a piece of him everywhere I go. You are a disgusting excuse for a human being. The assistant DA saying, hey, look, the judge said what she had to say. She just handed it to him. She just like, she said what we've been thinking the whole time. Like, she put, she made sure he felt that what we felt and what everybody else felt about him. You just don't hurt a child. You just don't take a child's life because you're unhappy with your own. Like, like they said, oh, he has a... Uh, bad mental illness. That's not an excuse to hurt a baby. Well, I would be lying if I said that I wasn't emotional about it. I think everybody in the courtroom was emotional about it. Um, I certainly think the judge um, has every right to make those comments. She sat through the entire trial, and I think anybody that did sit through the trial um, may share in their sentiments as well. Now, Marshall's mother, the whole other part of this case, she'll be on trial in April. Live in Rochester, Christian Garzon, News 8. Adam, Teresa, back to you.